Welcome to my page if you are new. Um, some of you will already have been in here for a while, but if you are new, welcome and thank you for joining the page. Um, so today is the first day of my sign a day. Um, so what really prompted me doing this was I, um, before, before having children and before becoming a full-time mum, um, I was a sign language interpreter for the deaf community. Um, I started signing as a hobby when I was about 18 or 19 years old and I did um, an evening course, a level one evening course um, with a tutor who was deaf, Emma McAllister. She is amazing. So if you are, you might start learning a little bit of sign from me, um, some of the basic stuff and want to do a proper course. Um, if that's the case, I'll send you over to one of my friends, Emma, because she is fantastic. Um, and she runs actual courses where you will receive um, a certificate at the end to show that you have taken part in this course. So anyway, coming away from that, um, I started off doing it as a hobby and one thing went to another. I just fell in love with sign language. Um, thanks to Emma taking me down to the local deaf club and introducing me to the deaf community. I fell in love with deaf world, deaf way, um, everything, about, uh, everything about BSL. So um, for me, it then sparked into a career. I did lots of different courses um, and and became a sign language interpreter and I absolutely loved it um, and then I've stepped away to be full-time mummy and I run my business from home um, but I've never lost my passion for sign language and for the deaf world so um, since having my children I have been signing with them from the day they are born I use some basic signs with them and um, I, I have three children all of them can sign um, it's been something that's been so beneficial to me as a mum because I'm always able to get to the bottom of what my children want because they don't have the ability to tell us. Um, their brains are ready to tell us, but their vocal cords aren't developed enough to tell us. Um, and a common misconception is that the children who are hearing hearing and, and assigning from a young age are then going to have hindered speech because they're going to be lazy and not bother to speak. And I'm just going to put it out there. That's absolute, absolute bullshit um my babies all um sign and speak caitlin's still doing a little bit of both but she's only 10 months delilah is two years old and has a huge bsl vocabulary i would say she can sign probably about 150 to 200 words and that is no exaggeration she can sign oh colors animals family members names films uh, like film titles and princess names and Everything that she loves, she can sign. And it is a huge help to us because sometimes she's such a babbler and sometimes she's babbling away and there's no real recognisable word in there from what she's speaking about. And I can say, use your sign, Delilah, sign for mummy. And she will do the sign for what she's trying to tell me. And instantly, I know what she's trying to tell me. So after having this conversation with lots of um, mum friends, they were like, oh, I wish I could get into that. I wish I was signing with my children. And... They don't have the time to be going to baby sign language classes or courses um, because of work and other commitments such as other children and running their home. So this was just meant to be a little bit of fun where I could show you a sign every day um, and it's something that would give you some basic sign language knowledge. Um, you'd be able to use it at home with your children and your get your older children involved, your husband involved. Um, and use it if you don't with sign language if you don't use it you will lose it so you want to be using these signs every day and just add them into everyday conversation so today's sign of the day is milk so lots of you may already know this sign but this is my first sign for you all because this is the first sign i teach all of my babies um so there's several variations of the sign but the sign that i use for my children is milk because it's just so simple. I quite often do laziness sign with just one hand. Um, it's a very, very easy sign for them to use. They don't have the dexterity that we have. Um, so that's something really, really simple for them to do. And all three of my children have been able to use that sign from the age of five months old, um, which blew me away when Frankie did it for the first time. And then Delilah, same age, same sign. Caitlin, same age, same sign. Um, I've signed them all from newborn, just a couple of basic signs. And that is the first sign that all of them do. Um, as a baby, what do you love more than mummy? Milk. 
Um, so that's your sign for today, milk. Um, there's actually lots of adults that um, who are not looking to learn to teach their babies or their children. Maybe you don't have children yet or you don't have children at all. Um, but so many of you messaged to say you were really interested in, in learning some sign language. And I absolutely love that. I love it because imagine a world where our deaf community could just go into somewhere and order their food or ask for directions and they can't do that because most of the world can't sign um, and they're used to having to write on paper and type something on their phone and show you but imagine if all of us could just do a few basic signs so um, welcome to all the adults who aren't here to learn for their children they're here to learn because they want to learn because that's amazing Bear with me because the first few signs are going to be child based um, because that's originally why I started doing this for my mum friends and their, their babies. Um, but every sign is useful and it will just add into your brain and into your sign language vocabulary and we'll do this every day. Um, obviously my next few videos will be nice and short, probably about 10, 20 seconds long of me showing you a sign. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of background information today about me and about signing. So um, thank you for joining. So your first sign today is milk. So do you know if you're making your tea and your coffee and you want to ask your husband, um, can you make sure my tea has milk, please? So you can speak normally, but add your sign in. Um, that's what I do with my children, even from newborn. I speak in full English sentence sentences but I chuck in the sign as well, so that I'm reinforcing both languages, English and BSL. So yeah, go and ask your husband if he can make you a tea or a coffee and make sure that he tells you, uh, you tell him to put in some milk. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for our next sign. Bye.